Hi, uh, I'm here at uh, nakikita nyo 104.1 Freedom FM Studio kung saan nagbo-broadcast si Alexandra Nicole um, ng kanyang radio program every day from Mondays through Fridays 8am to 10am o oh, ba promote <laughs> Okay, so um, uh, I'm Myra Manibog and of course you're watching Confessions of a Sinner uh, If you're not familiar with what this video is about yet uh, well, I post a video on YouTube uh, every Thursday and it's called Confessions of a Sinner. So where I pray for you and uh, I share with you or I confess to you some uh, things that I have experienced and hopefully uh, it, will, it will bless you and will bring you closer to God. So let me ask you this question for today. Have you, is there something that you regret? not doing or uh, you regret doing diba? meron ka bang pinanghinayangan or pinagsisihan sa buhay mo I'm sure marami diba? <laughs> um, when I was starting out as an actress um, I remember I, 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 I joined an audition or I, I attended an, an audition for a, a Japanese film and uh, there were 100 Filipino actresses who auditioned for the part and I was lucky enough to be selected so i was given the role the role was to be the second leading lady of the japanese uh, famous actor during that time and i was still very young then i was 14 years old and uh, that was my second movie uh, that audition was immediately after snake sisters was released so hindi pa ako ganun kasikat well hindi na ako sikat ngayon <laughs> sikat na lang ako kay lord but um so i was really excited about the movie because it's a foreign a foreign film, it's my opportunity to become an international actress. And part of the deal was I would be shooting in the Philippines for a month. I'll be staying with the Japanese crew and actors in a five-star hotel in Makati, which I did. And then after the one-month shooting, me and my manager will be going to Japan to shoot some more uh, scenes. And then afterwards, I'll be introduced to... Uh, to the to uh, Japan's showbiz industry, diba? as an international actress, so it was really really exciting for me. However, during that time, I don't know how to speak Japanese yet. So, uh, during that one month that I was living with uh, the Japanese uh, producer and uh, directors and crew, everyone, the, I, I was I was sharing a room with their makeup artist, which was also a girl. And she was very nice, and she told me a lot about the actors and the actresses of that film. So uh, it was really exciting. So during that one month, uh, I stayed in that hotel, and um, in the afternoon, I have a one-hour session with the assistant director. He was teaching me how to speak Japanese. So, but unfortunately, I did not learn because it's not that easy to learn a, a different language, diba? Uh, even though you know that you need to do it. Pero kasi may script naman that I have to read during the shooting. So I did not feel the need to really learn how to speak Japanese. So anyway, uh, after our shooting in the Philippines was done, we uh, it was now time for us to go to, to Japan. Pero the director spoke with me and he told me na um, they think or they feel that I, I would have a, a struggle or a challenge kung pupunta ako sa Japan with my manager kasi pareho kami hindi marunong mag-Japanese. So he asked me if papayag ako na instead of bringing my manager with me, uh, they would send a translator, a Japanese translator with me. So I agreed because I knew talagang totoo naman yung sinasabi nila. I knew that they are a legit film company. In fact, they're very big in Japan and mababait naman sila sa akin during my one month stay. And I know that it's a, a, a legitimate film. It, it was not a bold film and it was an action film actually. And uh, I agreed kasi I knew na it would be better kung translator yung kasama ko. However, since I was only 14 years old at that time, hindi ako pwede magpirma ng uh, any legal documents. So I had to call my mom and tell her to go to the hotel and sign the document, the waiver for me. Now, uh, my mom, she panicked, of course, uh, who would want to send her 14-year-old daughter alone diba, uh, in, a, in a foreign country. So she panicked and what she did was she called my manager and she told my manager na the, the Japanese producers wanted to bring me to Japan alone. So your manager ko naman, uh, nagpanic din or I don't know what happened but 
He went to the hotel and he he pulled me out of the movie and nakapag-away na siya dun sa director and dun sa producer. So yun, sad to say na I was taken out of the movie because of that incident. Um, and um, nakakatawa doon at nakakainis at the same time, two years after, when I was 16, pinaalis ako ng mama ko. Uh, binook niya ako as an entertainer sa Japan. So, I, I had the opportunity to become an international actress, a famous actress in Japan, pero instead, I became a Japayuki. Di ba? Nakakatawa at nakakainis at the same time. So, that was one experience that I truly regret. Pero, um, looking back at it, siguro, I should have stood my ground and uh, asked and, and demanded for them to bring an interpreter along with my manager because that was the original deal naman talaga. The interpreter should have been an added bonus since they, I would be going there as an actress, di ba? And, uh, pero, uh, God's hand was there kasi I think that was not for me kasi if it was not for me, di sana hindi kami nagka-problema, di ba? Pero, yun nga kasi, God gave us free will, di ba? Uh, we, we, can, we have to make our choices and Ang mali doon kasi, I decided it by myself. I should have consulted people who are older than me, more experienced, and I should have talked to my manager about it, diba? Um, yon. So, if you lost something or someone, or if you're waiting for an opportunity and it has not come yet, then my message to you is this. Just uh, don't give up. Don't lose hope. Because... Whatever you want or whatever you wish for, if you really, really want it and you really, really pray hard for it, then it will happen. It will happen. That's God's promise. As long as you include God in your choices, as long as you put God first in your decisions, then everything that you wish for, magugulat ka because God works in mysterious ways. And sabi niya nga, seek you first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Magugulat ka kasi yung hinihingi mo or yung inaantay mo, mas, mas, mas malaki pa doon or mas, mas wonderful pa doon yung darating because God's plan, God's plans for you is bigger than what we can imagine. Now, I want to pray for you, so let me pray for you. Heavenly Father, I lift up everyone who's watching this video right now. They have dreams or pains. They have lost something or someone. I pray for healing. Heal them from their pain and embrace them. Comfort them with your love. Let them be aware of your presence and realize that you are always with them in every aspect of their lives. I pray that you bless them abundantly in their finances. Bless them with good health. Bless them with love. Bless them with peace. Bless them with beautiful relationships in their families, in their friendships. And Lord, whatever it is that they are, hoping for, waiting for, dreaming for. I claim that they will receive it, that they have already received it. It is already there. You have already given it to them and they should just be ready to receive it. Give them the grace to realize their dreams. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. And thank you so much for watching and see you again next week. Have a blessed day. Bye.